Here we're looking at a power supply, and right now you're looking at 12 volts, and that's the top scale. And we'll hit the switch, and roughly 4 to 5 amps. So that's 4 to 5 amps, 12 volts. Now we're testing a PWM on a SuperGen, and here's the SuperGen right here. As you can see, there it is. We'll zoom out on it a little bit, so you can see it. It's roughly 14 and a half inches tall. There it is right there. And like all our other models, okay, there's the water fill. There's the water fill solenoid right there. It goes on and off. And it's all governed down here from the level sensor switch. There's the gas output. Here's the fill and view port. And on the side, right here, going up the side, You'll see I got a small little red wire which is going to my voltmeter. And there's the anode right there. And the whole case right here, that's all anode. And down on the bottom, underneath, we can get a shot of it. There's the cathode in the bottom and there's a little black wire right here. That's going over to my multimeter. So now as you see, we're running at 12 volts on the power supply. And we're running at roughly four and a half, five amps right in that area. Now we're going to go over here and we're going to take a look and we're going to turn on our voltmeter which is hooked up with a little red and black wire to the anode and cathode and we're going to turn it on. And we're running roughly four and a half volts DC. The amperage is the same whether from the power supply or here. So it's approximately four and a half volts, five amps and that's being controlled by a pulse wave modulator right here. This is a square wave modulator. It's variable. I'll show you it's variable because I'll take and turn it up and down here. And you'll see as I turn it up, I can turn it up and I can turn it down. So let me get back here to four and a half volts. There we go. Well, that's pretty close right there. There we go. Roughly four and a half, 4.5, 4.6 volts. And now we'll go over here and we'll look at the flow meter. And there's the flow meter right there oscillating between zero and roughly, we'll zoom in. It's between zero and about six to eight liters per minute is where it's flowing at. Now I'll reach down here and I'll turn it up. Let's see if we can find it again in the screen and I'll turn the voltage up a little bit and we'll see what happens. We're now at six and a half volts and you'll notice the speed on it picks up even more. It goes faster. Let's go on up here and turn it up to We'll go all the way up to 8 volts. Alright, we're at 8 volts. And you can see it's going much faster, okay? So sometimes more is not better than less. Alright, so now we'll turn around and we'll see we're at 7.98 volts. Let's turn this thing back down again. Now let's go on back down to, oh, there's 3.3, there's 4.4. Four. A little more. There we go. 4.5, that's close enough. And we'll go back here to the flow meter, and we'll look at the flow meter. Now, as you can see, we are actually running at 4.5 volts, round figures, and we're running at 5 amps, right there, and yet our input voltage to the PWM is 12 volts. So when we ran a SuperGen before, we ran it at 13.2 volts and 8 amps, 
and we were getting the same results as we're getting here with a power supply input of 12 volts and 5 amps we're now operating at 5 amps at 4.5 volts so actually we're running at approximately one-third the voltage at the same amperage and we're getting the same results as we were before with 12, 13 volts and 8 amps and now we're running 5 amps and roughly 4.5 volts and we get the same results so there has to be something about pulse wave modulation don't know exactly what it does not an expert don't pretend to be but I do know that you can run on less voltage less amperage and get the same outbound results so take it for what it's worth you go figure it out. All I know is it does it and it works here. Other than that, this is a SuperGen right here as you can see it. There is a pulse wave modulator that's hooked into the SuperGen and it connects to the cathode and anode and to the 12 volt power supply through the power relay and over to ground and here is the meter itself at 4.5 volts and I have right now one of these infrared temperature sensor guns. We'll shoot it at the wall so you can see. The wall right now is 77 degrees. So now we'll see if we can line it up. Right, much better than the 180 to 200 we used to run on. But right now the gas coming out is right now at the... 100 and say 20 degree level and there's our flow over there and we'll bring it over and we're at 82 degrees 83 degrees at the flow meter is where we are right now because there's the flow meter and we're shining on it right now and here's the inbound fitting to the flow meter oh we can't see it it's being hid but here's the hose and we'll come over here and it's 84 degrees on the hose and if we come over here to a gas valve we're at 85 degrees at the gas valve we'll come up here to the silicone outbound gas hose and we're at 106 and on the canister itself it reads 96 degrees is where it's at so that'll give you some idea this thing I think is acting a little fluky right at the moment. I think the batteries are getting low in it because it says a max temperature of 142 and yet we're only at 93 degrees. So we'll let it clear and we'll hit it again. And there we go. We're at 101, max temperature 102. So that'll give you some idea the temperature wise. And again, we're still running. at 5 amps DC and we're running at 12 volts DC from the power supply we're running 5 amps continuously and we're ending up cutting that 12 volts down to 4.5 volts and yet we still have good gas production from 0 up to oh say 7 almost 8 liters a minute pulsing so cut that in half figure an average and that's much better than two, three liters a minute. All right? Take it benefit of the doubt. And that's about it for the MagDrive SuperGen using a PWM, which is right here. And that's about it. So I hope this video was informative. I hope it helped you uh, answer some of your questions. And we'll make more as we go along. So just come back frequently and check our website. And... We'll give you the latest updates on the latest and greatest that we're doing. Because the better we can do, that means the better you can do at the gas pump. Take care. Take care of yourself. Have a good day. And bye-bye.